Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo, Zhu and in this video I'm going to talk about all Metal Slug games for the Sony PSP. The PSP proves time and time again that it is one of the best, if not THE best, machine to play retro games on. It's portable, it has a big screen, it's comfortable to hold in your hands, and the two Metal Slug games on PSP prove that rule. The one that the PSP is the king of playing retro games wherever you want. The handheld king of retro games. Metal Slug Anthology contains 7 games, Metal Slug, Metal Slug 2, Metal Slug X, Metal Slug 3, 4, 5 and 6. You are granted the option to choose if you want to play the game in the 4 on 3 format or in a widescreen format to cover all of the PSP screen. And another welcome addition is the ability to save your game. Remember that these were originally arcade games where you couldn't save your game. And well. It, it's always a nice a nice thing to save your game. And now for the gameplay. Well, you can see from the video how the games are. You select a character at the beginning of the level and go from left to right shooting soldiers or whatever crosses your path. Untying prisoners of war, the blonde guys with beards, you dodge bullets, throw grenades, destroy tanks and choppers and whatever crosses your path and fight boss battles that fill your entire screen. The game is badass. And each game has its respective differences, whether you notice that in Metal Slug 3 you start shooting aliens, or that in Metal Slug 5 you can slide, or that in Metal Slug 6 you're given the choice between an easy and a hard mode, the hard mode offers a standard Metal Slug experience, while in the easy mode your standard pistol is replaced with an infinite ammo version of the heavy machine gun. The only problem with the anthology is that the loading times are too frequent and at inopportune moments, that can ruin pacing in some moments. But overall, it's a great collection. Metal Slug XX, or 20, however you want to read it, is actually Metal Slug 7, but with a different name. The reason why they didn't add this game into the anthology is because when that collection came out, Metal Slug 7 didn't exist. You see, Metal Slug 7 came out for the Nintendo DS in 2008, and the anthology came out in 2007. So they ported the Nintendo DS game on the PSP 2, and now you have one anthology with 7 games, and then you get Another game that could have been in the anthology if it would have existed back then, but anyway, just know that Metal Slug XX or 20 exists on the PSP. The game can get very difficult since it was most probably intended to be played in co-op, but luckily the PSP has this option. You can play in ad hoc with a friend and try to clear up all the levels, and playing in co-op is much easier than playing the game alone, as playing alone can get frustrating in some parts of the game. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord, I've left the links to those in the video description. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and till we read thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching!